In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you to do this really cool trippy background effect. We're gonna get the effect by rotoscoping out our subject and then applying plugins like Sapphire and Universe. So make sure you have those. I'm gonna take you through the whole process, show you some of the effects that I like using and how to stack them to get the desired look. Before we get into the video, if you like these trippy style effects, I'd highly recommend you check out my Opium Bank. It's for Sapphire and Universe plugins. There are a bunch of presets that are done for textures in the background, kind of how I'm gonna show you today, and also these hit transitions. If you use code CARDI5 at checkout, I'll get you five dollars off your order for watching the video and supporting the channel. I'd also highly recommend you check out my other editing packs, presets, and plugins that are available on my website. Shake Sauce 2 just recently came out and there's a seven day free trial. That way you can try it out 100% risk-free. I'll have all of that linked down in the description, but drop a like on the video and let's get into the tutorial. So here in After Effects, this is the clip we want to apply the trippy background to. And to get started, you guys have probably seen me do this a bunch of times before, but we need to start off by rotoscoping out our subject. So go up to the rotoscope tool, double click on your layer, and then paint out your subject. As you know, if you hold Alt, you will be able to erase like this. It turns red and then you can erase the spots that you overpainted. And if you let go, it will be green. And then you can go frame by frame, just making sure it fits your subject properly. You can see here we have a little mess up and then just go in and making sure everything's good. And then a good rotoscope looks something like this. It's not absolutely perfect, but for the sake of the tutorial, it will work. So then we're gonna go ahead and click freeze. It's basically gonna lock in your rotoscope, just making sure that it's not gonna be changed as you apply effects. Could take a few seconds depending on your footage. Then after that, go ahead and close out of that layer and go back into your composition. And now you can see you should just have your subject. You can toggle the transparency to see the background here and kind of see what your rotoscope looks like. You can see there's a few little glitches, but, but because it's not a super precise effect, we don't need the best rotoscope this will be plenty good so what i'm going to do is click on our layer and click Control d that's going to duplicate the layer and then on the bottom of the two layers we're going to click on that clip go to the effect controls and delete the roto brush that way our top layer is the subject and then our bottom layer is just the normal clip itself so on that background layer some effects that i like to add to kind of get this trippy kind of distorted look are from sapphire and also from red giant universe like i was talking one of my favorite ways to find new trippy style effects is just going into sapphire distort and applying some of these effects i'll show you the difference so distort chroma is a lot more of a colorful one so you can see it affects the colors so you can see that the red blue and green is kind of all split here whereas if you want something a little bit more monochromatic or dull you can use distort blur and i want this for this effect it feels like you know for cardi and stuff having a little bit more of like that dull kind of like opium style would fit really well so you can go through and keyframe the blur amounts and the warp amount it just depends on what you want i think leaving the warp amount down and kind of just having the blur change Will be a cool effect here so we can just go through kind of keyframe it up keyframe it down you could even put a wiggle expression on this value and i can show you how to do that in a second that's a really cool way of having really trippy backgrounds so you can see if you just keyframe it like this throughout you can see how the background will change and kind of like almost like pulse now if you wanted to automate that you could hold alt on your keyboard and then click on the stopwatch and it's going to open up this thing down here and if you type in the word wiggle and then parentheses like this you can do like one comma one and you can see how intense it gets and how often it happens. So it's very, very slow to happen. And that's because the wiggle first number is how often. So the higher the first number is, it will happen more often. So as if you notice, we bring it up to 10, it's gonna do what we just did, but a lot more quickly. So if you change this back number, that's basically the intensity. So if I bring it up to 10 comma 10, it's gonna be really intense and happen a lot. So you can see it's gonna glitch out like crazy. So if you want, you can maybe bring down both of these numbers quite a little bit, maybe like five, like 0.5 on the intensity, maybe something like seven on the frequency. So now you'll see you can have it pulse like that. I personally think for this effect, having just the keyframe values is a little bit better because you just get a little bit more control of what you actually want. And I kind of want it to just be distorted the whole entire time, but it is a technique that I use to get these trippy backgrounds a lot. So keep that in mind when you're applying this. You can see I can almost automate this myself, especially since it's not a super long clip. I don't think it's the most important to have the wiggle expression. It almost has like this kind of pulsing like effect. You can even easy ease these keyframes just to smooth out the motion a little bit more. And then another effect I like to add on is something like warp puddle. And we can actually bring that above. And you can see at first it's really, really crazy. But if you bring down the amplitude quite a lot and the frequency down a decent amount, 
You can now see how it has this like kind of like really pulsing kind of trippy like effect in the background and adding this in combination with like glows or like maybe something like chromatic aberration from universe just gives you a little bit more of that distorted kind of look. And if you're trying to build your own effect, just going in the distort tab for red giant universe and also for Sapphire will give you like basically infinite possibilities. So that's kind of where I take my starting point. So as far as the trippiness goes, I think we're there. I just like doing a few other things to kind of blend the effect together. You can add an effect like Sapphire Glint on to get some really cool like glowing like effects. And this is something that like maybe you want to do the wiggle expression for so we can do wiggle. And then remember that first number is how often it happens. So we could do something like maybe five at first and then 0.5 seven or something so it's not super intense and let's see what that looks like okay so maybe we need something significantly less intense like 0 0.7 and now you can see how it kind of happens in the background we could probably even bring up this frequency number so it's happening more often and it just takes a little bit of tweaking it depends on your footage and everything like that but if you want something automated using the wiggle expression is super helpful so for the second tutorial that's looking pretty good I'm gonna go ahead and add an effect. Like you can either use like sapphire grain or sometimes I just use like to use the add grain effect. Make sure to change the viewing mode to final output. We're gonna go ahead and turn on monochromatic noise. And then let's go ahead and also just find like a preset. Kind of just add that together. And what I'm actually gonna do is control X that. So it's gonna cut it off. And then I'm gonna make an adjustment layer over all of our footage and then apply the grain. That way it just blends it a little bit more. So it applies to your rotoscope layer as well. And then we can also add an effect like RSMB and drag that above the grain. And that's just gonna blur. You can see how like the harsh edges on Cardi went from like harsh edges to kind of blurring with the background. It's gonna just help sell the effect a little bit more as well. So now you can see we have this really trippy pulsing background effect. And the cool thing is you can go ahead and take these effects and apply it onto your rotoscope layer as well like say if you wanted to not have it on the background you could apply it on your rotoscope layer instead and depending on the effects you have it might look cool it might not so it really just comes down to adding effects in combination with each other and if you like effects like this i guarantee you'll absolutely love my opium sapphire and universe bank i'll show you a few of the effects from the actual preset pack that way you can check it out and see if it's something that you would like you can see we have presets like feels like dying it has this really like kind of grungy style aesthetic and then we got an effect like feels like dying kind of similar to what we just created there i really like this one it's like a little bit more subtle and then also similar to kind of what we just built the high as shit preset there's a bunch of different presets inside of the pack for those background textures as well as those hits so i can kind of show you what that looks like real quick on the hit end so you can see the hit ones are keyframed effects it's really good for transitions i'm not transitioning between two clips but you can see how even on a clip like this it makes it look really really cool has this like glow that comes through the trippiness and then it goes back to normal if you're interested in getting a bunch of effects like that and also supporting the channel click the link down below and use code cardi5 at checkout get you guys five dollars off the order because you're choosing to to support the channel and you've watched the video this far but that's pretty much it when it comes to adding these trippy kind of distorted background effects i like to stack red giant universe and sapphire together both of the distort effects in different combinations to get unique looks there's really infinite possibilities just between dragging on all the effects and also the opium preset pack if you made it all the way to the end of the video i really do appreciate you if you haven't already liked the video go ahead and do that and if you're not subscribed make sure you are but that's all i got for you guys in this one peace